What is going on guys? We are back with another video today in our Rams online user franchise and it is week three after a really solid start to the season going against a team we struggled with in year one. Uh, here are some of our re-signings by the way. We uh, we paid a little bit of money but we locked up some of the guys that we well traded for for one and two that we think will be future stars of this team of course, this is unfortunately a voiceover because my uh, audio, I don't know if it forgot to, I forgot to save it or I just don't know where it is. I, I do not know where it is. So unfortunately, it's a voiceover, but it doesn't mean we can't have a little fun, right? Finally using the upgrades on some of our guys that need a contract, specifically OJ Howard, of course. And uh, look at the roster overalls. He has this by three. I, I feel like it should be higher than by three. No, I know he had to get rid of some guys because of contract situations but his whole offensive line is there still which in franchise that basically gives him a very very high chance to win i'm hoping our d-line slash linebackers can change that fact though because of course we actually have done pretty well on the d-line and you can see right here we're off to a pretty damn good start you know defense we you'll be doing all right to the outside he will get it off i will say though you know, it sucks that he got a big play there to Ertz, but we did almost get him. We almost got him inside. If that's wrap, I think that's a forced fumble, but it's Burgess. So, yeah, animations matter, but hit power does still kind of matter, right? Second and 10, we get the pressure. I wish Oa would just get a sack every single time he's even close to the quarterback. Third and 10 for the 37-yard line. Wentz looking to throw all day, and oh my lord, Holcomb. You actual manimal covering Miles Sanders all the way down the field and the block. Oh, rest in peace. I thought I had my first block field goal. If if you want to pray for my block field goal miss, leave a like, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Very risky throw there, of course. 50 50 ball, thankfully. You know, I don't care if we catch it as long as he doesn't. And uh, of course, it is going to lead us to a third and 11 running on second and 10. Yikes, call. Third and 11 for the 24-yard line. I don't see anyone open. It's going to chuck it up, and it's into Slay. So, debatable one there. Of course, we're going to lead to a punt. We can't field it properly, so he's going to have a pretty much a free run down the sideline. More heavy running formation, and unfortunately, I thought we were going to have him right at this point of attack, and we didn't. Second and five, throws it back foot, inaccurate. So, our pressure's starting to get there. Of course, we are dialing it up hardcore. And look at that one. I don't know if you would have threw a pick there, but hey, pass rush is doing all right here. I ain't going to lie. Cam Aker is slipping off of a tackle, slips off another one, and he is gone. Cam Akers, the monster for a massive 70-yard rushing touchdown. I knew he was good. I didn't know he was that good. Slips off of two would-be tacklers and takes it the distance Carson Wentz to the outside is going to fumble out of bounds Ibu Kim in pursuit no sack but I'll take a force fumble whatever it takes good user up the middle with us I don't know if that was rap I don't know who it was third and eight now from the 27 yard line Wentz gonna take the shot deep I didn't notice it was gonna be a press over there I thought we were gonna just like I don't know how to like decide what a press is or not I know how to force like I know how to press I just don't know how to like make sure we aren't pressing because that happens a lot and of course there was no safety help there because i thought we were just going to be like you know running back i gotta really pay attention to my guys because sometimes they run up late and speaking of late that is a late read and once again 50 50 ball to van jefferson the way we're forcing it, you would have thought we had a freaking scenario uh and look at cooper cup on second and ten so motivational gains about 26 27 yards on the play first and ten we're a bit predictable. I can't lie. Been a little bit predictable, especially in the ground game. Only going to get two yards on the play for the 46-yard line. That's going to probably be a drive killer. Down three, we take a sack. Third in 23. Jared Goff over the middle is going to find Van Jefferson. Finally, takes it to the 40. And, of course, with only a fourth and two, we can go for this thing. We're going to play it like a little conservative guy. Uh, and get the first down on fourth and two. First and ten and off the edge. It wasn't going to be a good read. It really wasn't. However, if we didn't get hit, it would have probably been at least a 50-50 chance. Regardless, that pressure, man. It just got us. Simply put, this offensive line, once again, 
to even not be 0-3 with his O-line is very impressive. And look at Howard. Oh, look at the motivation of Howard all the way down to past midfield. It is so nice when you have players that are actually decently fast, especially at their position. You know, Howard's one of his, you know, the top tier speed good players at his position. And of course, hit there, but not on him, the flag. Illegal man downfield. We had Howard open, but he got the insta pressure again. Second and 10, we're going to find some room. Cam Akers continuing where he left off. Over 100 yards on just five rushes. Jamal Williams going to try to go outside. Can't get the stiff arm to the 20 yard line. Second and nine running the ball again. Cam getting some room. Takes the hit stick, but of course, that will push him over the line of scrimmage. Well, the first down line at least. And put us at the 10. No first down to gain, although, uh oh. Cup would have probably gained about six or seven there. Unfortunately, he's not going to after it just hits off his helmet. Come on, boys. Run goes nowhere. And here, pretty much just selling out. Hoping maybe the blocks just pancake somehow randomly out of nowhere. And they do not. So we will take the field goal that brings it down to a one possessioner. We just barely miss Miles Sanders there. Five minutes in the second. Second and 11. We give the wide open outside lane. That's all on us, but... I thought maybe he would go to the inside, but he didn't. And here, I mean, I got to give it to us. We're Considering how good his O-line is, we're penetrating at a decent level right now. Hey, <laughs> hey, hello. No, 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 nothing. Second and six conversion underneath to potentially a tight end. I don't know if that was Ertz. Couldn't really see the number. Over the middle, no. He's going to take the look to Ramsey. Somehow holds on, but good coverage regardless. Third and eight. Now he's going to run, and Holcomb has been a huge part of this game so far it's now a fourth and three we come with mid blitz and we get the sack ebu cam off the edge untouched gets it and we force the turnover jared freaking goff he's either gotta get better or he's gotta go there is no pressure there easy medium throw for about eight plus misses wildly and already down seven we're in a worse situation now Second 11, he gains about four. Third and seven out from the 25. He's going to run it. Ian Miles Sanders is going to get crunched. Another timeout wasted. He will get the field goal. About a minute and 31 seconds left. 100 minute 27 seconds left from our own 23. Got to try to make a magical drive happen. That will keep the clock running, but it's fine. We got a minute. We got a timeout. We got hope. Over the middle, and we go for the possession catch with OJ Howard's having a pretty damn good game. 35 seconds left with that one timeout. Looking for someone open, and we are going to throw this away smartly. 30 seconds left from the 29. We got to get a little bit closer, maybe take our shot, whatever it may be. And taking it deep, how does he hit that throw? But yet he misses the other ones. I don't know. We should have probably accepted that roughing, by the way, but it is what it is. Here we are in life. Golf to the outside. We'll run, and we really, instead of trying to take that up, should have just went to the out-of-bounds line. Of course, the fumble risk was high, but it doesn't matter because Goff holds on and delivers a strike for a touchdown right before halftime. Speaking of halftime, here we go. Starting of halftime. Down three. I'm not, you know, it's not the worst situation. Really wish we didn't have that wild, easy throw pick six just about. Uh, of course, it only turned into three, but a very good uh, return on what should have been an easy throw for someone with 85 medium and no pressure. So you're going to have another easy medium throw. Misses wildly again. Cup for probably 15, maybe even 20. And that's not a wild throw. That's a wild decision. Of course, he got the user. Not a single chance we should have thrown that ball. And, you know, good play by the other team, by the other user, Cliff. And, of course, don't get me wrong. It was a great user, but that's a hit stick fumble on us. Great user by us. He should have just went out of bounds. And then our guy doesn't pick it up. Easy recovery. Doesn't get it. And, of course, the drive will continue with that fact right there. Up by three still, and the downs keep continuing. Keep refreshing anyways. Gain six from the nine now, second and four. We bring the house, and he's going to take the shot, but it's going to lead to an interception. Josh Jackson with the play makes up for the fumble. I think that was him that didn't recover it. And, of course, the blown coverage deep. Of course, Fletcher Cox burns a second and 19 from the 11-yard line now. Uh, play action look. Jared Goff standing tough, but nobody is open in the slightest. Maybe got to go with slant, something inside. 
in here. We're going to go with the screen pass. Akers cut so hard inside. It wouldn't have mattered anyways. We didn't really have the block set up. So kind of wasting this opportunity. We're going to have to punt this ball away. Mr. Hacker deep. There will be a flag. I believe that is going to be against him. And the ball goes out of bounds about midfield. Add on another 10. So the 38-yard line. Four minutes left in the third. Got to make a play on defense. And he takes the underneath shot with Ertz. Second and seven now from the 42-yard line. Looking for something to go for. And, of course, we leave him wide open. Wild hit stick out of nowhere. No one even in sight there. Rolling out to the left. Wentz going to try to bait it. And he's over the line. Huge hit. Would have loved a fumble because technically that's a free play for the defense, which is very rare to see. Second and 14 up the middle. Really good burst of speed there by a TJ Logan. Third and six now. Defense make a damn stop. And we're going to get better than that. We're going to get a sack. David Long sack with the sack. No field goal, so we're still down by three. Just barely away from the fourth quarter here. Definitely going to take a lead in a moment if we get the touchdown. Of course, nowhere to go on the ground game. Pretty much all game other than that really lucky long run from Cam Akers. And here, Cooper Cup not only going to catch it, but he's going to slip away. Breaks the tackle and all the way down to the 24. All right, start of the actual fourth quarter now. First and 10 and another bad miss by Jared Goff. I mean, I don't know how many yards he takes that for, but it'd be at least 15, 20 yards probably. Second and 10 from the 24, getting all the way for the first down. Jamal Williams not getting so much himself. Second and eight from the 12, and we are going to run this again. Jamal will fight and get the first down. First and goal from the three acres, fighting down to the two-yard line, looking for that conversion here, that touchdown. Second and goal, and oh my lord, Jamal would not be denied. He has got that like glitchy reach for the ball over the line thing, which is and it just doesn't make any sense because obviously he doesn't have it because it's an actual ability. And here, once again, this should help us because he does throw and run quite a bit. Like the throws short a lot. So in this situation, you would think it would help us, but he only needs a field goal. So, you know, like I said, third and one to the outside short to Miles Sanders. And a huge hit by Ramsey, the best hitting corner in the league. The hardest hitting corner in the league. And we will get the ball back. Jamal probably should have found the actual hole there, but instead we'll gain two yards on pretty bad vision. Trent Richardson style run there. Second and eight, and we got to lead that upwards. Maybe we did, and it was just golf. I don't know, but we got to lead that upwards. All right, third and eight. Trying to go for the sellout play, and instead we get to the fourth and inches mark. Three minutes left in the fourth, 36-yard line. We are allowed to go for this with our one go for, our coach suggestion anyways. And to the outside, he looks open. I'm spamming X. And it's not going to give it to us. I think the game thought Goff was going to get it for the first. But if I was the one pressing A for a possession, it would show a green flash, but it didn't. So I really do not know. Second and three, that could have been a game-changing sack. But, of course, throw out a sack is so OP. Unless it's for us, then it's going to be a pick every time. Uh, third and three now looking deep. And he's going to be just shy of getting that. Fourth and three now from the 43-yard line. Carson Wentz, kind of a do-or-die situation, and no way. I don't even care if that's hurt. It's a one-handed one diver on Ramsey. That is not so. Balls out, saves the day. Third and 18 now, looking for someone open, and on the run again, gets the first down Oh, Lord. Second and four from the 15. 56 seconds left. It's either overtime or a potential loss. Carson Wentz rolling out. Got his running back. He's going to take him. And a great swat by Oa, the pass rusher, the rookie pass rusher, saving the day on that one. Third and four now running the ball. And Holcomb can't reach him. The AI Burgess takes a terrible angle. And as soon as I switch to him, it's too late. It's going to be a score. First and 10 from the 27-yard line. Goff. Literally nowhere to throw it. Looking for the pass. Running there is not going to get us much. It's going to get us, what, six, seven yards. Really doesn't do a lot. Try to go deep. We get hit from behind. Second and 10 from the 27-yard line. Goff again 
in trouble. Going to have to throw this away. And there's going to be a late hit, which we will accept because it definitely was late. Looking for someone open. I'm just not seeing it. Maybe hold on to the ball too long. I don't know. But that is going to be a sack blowing one of our timeouts. And what a terrible decision by us. Whether or not he should have got pancaked or not is regardless of the point. Yes, he wasn't ready for it. But it doesn't really matter. Why run there? Wasted our last time out. Now going for a prayer. And, of course, Van Jefferson with Slay on him. Not a chance in hell he gets that. Fourth and ten. Can we make the play happen? A run with Akers. The magic man himself. Can I get it done? A GG in the making. Both of us had... Quite a bit of weird situations where EA just bailed each other out. I'd say we still had more bailouts than he did, and yet we still lost, which definitely hurts more than anything, unfortunately. But regardless of the point, GG to the opponent. Our first loss of the season, of course, with this offensive line, I expect to lose a lot of games. So hopefully that's not true, but it was a good battle, and uh, it was a pretty close battle all the way across the board. We'll take a look at the stats in a moment between the two of course a rain game Jared Goff did not fare too well there was a lot of incompletions on him of course a lot of incompletions on the pressure and I really just do not want to visit any rainy spots anytime soon Cam Akers tried to carry it wasn't enough receiving uh, we did pretty well ourselves uh, unfortunately we gave up the huge shot down the field unfortunately so definitely a little bit of a, a tough one there if we didn't give that up I mean, both teams really weren't scoring, so big play touchdowns like that, like his or the one with Akers we had, uh, those were the difference, uh, you know, the differences in the game, of course, an upgrade for the tackle, the big boy. Regardless, though, we'll bounce back. Well, at least hopefully we'll bounce back. Going against Micah, another tough matchup next week. Regardless, thanks for watching, as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care, second channel, P. Care Plays, and then maybe a stream tonight on twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care. Regardless, though, thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!